So, look, I have a rather busy next few days covering Indie Mania, which I'm pretty excited about, but I couldn't get into the Indie Mania coverage until we talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 yet again today, because Nintendo might be about to do the funniest thing ever, and we're not talking about them dunking on PlayStation or any sort of console war stuff. Uh, when I'm talking about the funniest thing ever, I'm actually talking about for me. Uh, Nintendo can make me do the hot chip challenge and still give me what I want at the exact same time. And at least that's according to a recent potential leak for when we're going to see the Nintendo Switch 2. Also, what the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to cost. Now again, I'm going to warn you that when we dive into this, this person doesn't have some deep-seated track record, but they did get some very, very specific things correct, and we're going to kind of go off of that to see if they also get this correct, because if they get both correct, it could just be lucky guesses, it could also be coincidental, or maybe they really do have inside connections. You guys know I like to keep you as up to date on everything, but today's stuff is definitely one of those Make sure you have a massive grain of salt moments. This isn't your traditional insider. This is some new stuff on the block, but it is worth noting, especially given the timing of when they originally talked about the thing that they ended up getting right that's making us talk about this today. Now, before we dive in, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. If you want to stay updated on everything Switch 2, I would go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now. Uh, we actually were going to make an Echoes of Wisdom video today. They dropped a new overview trailer. I mean, you're seeing some of it right now. Man, it, it looks great, but this overview trailer is essentially a repeat of footage we've already seen. There's no new information besides the screen here where you see them kind of go through a bunch of different echoes, but they never use any of the new echoes. So there's not really any new information. There was a couple of commercials as well. Uh, again, nothing new in those. So it's one of those things where, hey, I was actually going to make an Echoes of Wisdom video this morning until I realized none of this stuff is new. So it doesn't give me anything new to talk about besides that screen with the echoes. So uh, we're going to do this instead because you know what? The Nintendo Switch 2 is what's on a lot of our minds. And we're going to go over to this post over on Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit. Uh, when you go over here, it says the PlayStation 5 Pro announcement date leaker gives updates on Switch 2. And you see even they label this as grain of salt. So what happens when it's like a new person and it's sort of circumstantial. We'll see what happens. But it said last week, a user on the Grand Theft Auto 6 Discord, Moisty Charlie, leaked the announcement date and price point of the PlayStation 5 Pro. He now goes on to tease the date and the price point of the Switch 2. He seems new to the scene. It's unknown how reliable he can be. Now... This is where we have to get into, well, okay, so he, anyone could have guessed the price. Anyone could have guessed the date. There was rumors and leaks out there, right? Well, let's go into this stuff. Here's what he said for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Note the date on this. This was all the way back in May. So this wasn't recent. It wasn't like it was based on any recent rumors or anything. This is back in May. So we're talking a pretty long time ago at this point, right? Four months ago. I can now confirm PlayStation 5 Pro gets announced September 10th, the day after the iPhone event. Now, again, whoa, the guy knew the iPhone event was happening on the 9th, four months ago, four months ago, and he knew about September 10th. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a moment, because it might not be May. He might have actually known about this on 9-5. It's actually only May. I saw this today. People getting it confused. It might actually only be May if this is a United States Grand Theft Auto user. If this user is from any other country, they put their dates the other way, and this actually was posted September 5th. This is why I said you really got to have this grain of salt, because on September 5th, we knew the Apple iPhone event was happening on the 9th, and we knew that it was highly likely the PlayStation 5 Pro event was happening that week as well. That's why I'm saying, man, it sounds like, oh, this guy knew something four months ago, but actually, if you're in any other country, no, it was probably in September. So I just want to note out there, this is why it's even more of a grain of salt. But So we go back and we just presume this is September 5th, he says this. So I can confirm the PlayStation 5 Pro gets it out September 10th. Okay, fine. It wasn't announced yet. Could have guessed on any of the days that week. Got lucky. Then he says, my sources at Sony just corroborated these statements. Now, that's all fascinating and everything. But, you know, if we go back and look at the post, it says he got the uh, price correct as well here. 
Uh, but I didn't see the price point in that post. So I guess I just have to take this person's word for it. I'm not on their forum. I'm or I guess, is it a forum? I guess a Discord server. I'm not on it, so I don't know. But okay, fine. Let's say this person knew the price and knew the date. All right, cool. Uh, and he knew it not because he was guessing, but because he actually had information. Well, fine. Then what do they, what do they have to say about Switch? Again, a massive grain of salt on this. Well, let's take a look. This stated today, or I'm assuming yesterday at this point, Switch 2 gets announced early next month. Well, the only way it's early is if it's the first week, right? And I'm hearing a base MSRP of $400 or $399 US. Now, this is what's interesting, though, because of his date was you know, 9.5 and not 5.9. Why is he talking about U.S. pricing? I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, anyways, it'll come in two different SKUs. Haven't gotten clarification and the specific differences between them, though. So he's claiming a couple of things. If we look at this, he's claiming Switch 2 is getting announced basically in the first week of October. Uh, the MSRP is going to be about $399 US, but what's interesting is there'll be two different SKUs, which certainly wouldn't be priced the same. Haven't gotten clarification of the specific differences between them, though. Now, if you guys remember, there's actually an old rumor from our good friend Nick over at the Xbox Era podcast, and when he heard a while ago that Nintendo was playing around with a digital version of the system and a physical version of the system. What does that mean? Well, basically, one takes physical cartridges and one doesn't. Now, Nintendo does have about 60% of their sales, you know, overall between all games being digital versus physical so offering a digital only console like the competition does wouldn't really be like the most shocking thing in the world it would be a little bit shocking if they did it right away at launch just because this is nintendo and they've never done that but look they've done multiple SKUs before my thing is i by the way the differences could be something else right too maybe it's like one has more storage than the other they did that with the wii u by the way remember they had the like the, what was it, the 16 gigabyte model and the 32 gigabyte model, the white versus the black. No, it was 8 and 16, wasn't it? Man, gosh, Wii U, back in 2012, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 8 and 16. Jeez. Anyways, the point is that the Wii U, they did multiple uh, versions of it with different storage options. Would they go back to that when the Wii U flopped? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's why the Wii U flopped. But I, look, guys, I don't know if any of this is true, right? I mean, th this is this is like the rabbit hole we're going down right now in the Switch 2 realm is we're waiting for Nintendo to reveal this thing. We don't know when. I'm still banking on next week, by the way. This doesn't really change my mind, especially if you posted it on 9.5. There was already rumors at that point about a $700 potential price point. There was already, obviously, rumors that it was going to be revealed or even reports at this point that it was going to be re revealed the following week. So you could easily guess Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Uh, it wouldn't have been really that big of a leap to guess any of those days. Uh, but to know, to say Tuesday, I guess that's notable. I, I just think that... Uh, we're at this juncture where if this ends up being true, it's funny because I have a hot chip challenge bet that they're going to reveal it this month. So I'd have to do the hot chip challenge bet. Meanwhile, right at the time I'm doing the hot chip challenge bet, they're also revealing the Switch 2. I do think that would be kind of a ironic, funny thing to happen on my channel where you get to enjoy my torture, my pain, my l entertaining live stream where I'm, you know, making myself suffer for your guys' entertainment. Meanwhile, we still get the Switch 2 announcement anyways which would be really cool. So I guess for you guys who watch my channel and watch my live streams, I mean, it's a pretty big dub. You're kind of hoping that this is probably right, right? You probably want this to be true. Uh, but to everyone else, we obviously just want this thing revealed sooner than later. And hey, you know what? Maybe next week's the week. Maybe it's not. Maybe October's the time. Maybe it's not. Maybe they don't reveal it till March of next year. I just wanted to throw this out there because it's being talked about. It's being passed around. I don't really know that this guy's that credible pretty easy at that point to get any sort of lucky guess in and because the guy ended up being right oh hey look i threw this lucky guess out there now people think i might know things oh man now i'm just gonna throw out you know something i think for the switch to i think it'll be the first week of october i think it's gonna be 400 but i'm gonna pass it off as if i know it i'm gonna pretend to be like this is how you know fake insiders gain clout right they they get a lucky guess correct that they claimed was inside info and they use that to bounce into something else which could also end up being a lucky guess again grain of salt with this massively could end up being right couldn't end up being wrong but we're driving that conversation forward because we're really excited for nintendo switch 2 and right now anything is possible all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you during indie mania later today